hi agro billionaires welcome again to my channel it's been a long time and i want to begin a new series about agriculture it's a new trend around the world and at the same time a lot of people are doing funny mistakes a lot of people want to get into agriculture and at the same time, a lot of us are, let's put it that we don't know what we're doing. <clears throat> the first part of our talk is what to know or what to do. The first things to consider when starting a farm. Of course, we know agriculture has a lot of different branches. We have the marketing, we have livestock farming, we have the crop farming, we have management, you can name it, feed production, the veterinary part of it and all those kind of things. There are so many of it. <coughs> construction, farm construction and the rest. But this particular one is about the farming itself, farming proper. Now, let's go with it. The first thing that I think, according to my experiences moving to many African countries and seeing many, many other kinds of agricultural practices, and my experience on failing many times and winning many times, the first thing is about the passion. <clears throat> Just like any other business, agriculture needs a lot of passion. It's not just something that you feel, let me do it like a business. Agriculture is more of a hobby. If you don't have that passion to see, to plant, prepare the soil, plant those seeds and watch them grow to the matured plants produce their their seeds or their roots as the case may be or if you don't have that passion to watch to buy very little animals like birds goats pigs cows and watch them grow feed them every day you don't need to be in the farm you don't need to be in the farm because at the end of the day it is not about profits because agriculture is not a rich quick scheme you need a lot of patience and the only thing that will carry you throughout that period is as a matter of fact passion nothing else will give you patience in agriculture than the love for agriculture itself even if you have a farm manager who has the passion, you as the owner of the business, you need passion. Agriculture doesn't start yielding in first year, second year. It needs time. So this is the very first thing that you need to put in your heart. It's not about watching videos. It's not about looking at what this man has done and what this man has done. They will show you exactly what you're doing at the meantime. And of course, many YouTube channels started when they have already seen progress. So it's not about, yeah, those ones are inspirational, but I think there's more to it. Passion is one very important aspect you need to know. as an important point in agriculture. The second thing then comes capital. A lot of people actually have the capital, but they don't know how to manage it. The capital we're talking about here is not the capital for startup. Of course, all of us know businesses need capital for startup. But, do you want to know? It is the capital that is kept aside to correct the mistakes, because in agriculture you do so many mistakes at the same time. 
the first year you will go through a lot of mistakes and if care is not taken you fall you'll be chased out of the farm and that'll be it so the second thing you need to do is reserve capital reserve capital is very very important in agriculture just like in other businesses because once you learn from your mistakes in agriculture the next part of it will be bringing in more capital to correct those mistakes you cannot correct agricultural mistakes without having backup capital and so if you have for instance 10 million to open a mega farm don't use 10 million use 5 million keep 5 million away in a couple of months maybe six seven eight nine months you will need one million out of that five million and another thing just an aside do not eat from the farm the profits you generate from your farm for the first year is not yours you keep it aside and it still boils down to capital because you must have money to support yourself and you keep the farm to grow if you start jumping into your profits every now and then the farm will either be on a standstill or something will hit you especially for livestock farming and you lose everything so these are the first two important points that you need to put in your mind before you get into agriculture.